Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve if you're coming across an issue that says you will need a new app to open this exe file on your Windows computer. So it should hopefully be a pretty straightforward tutorial and without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So we're going to start by opening up the start menu. Just go ahead and left click on the start button one time. Type in apps and features. Best match, you go back to apps and features, right above system settings. Go ahead and left click on that one time. And then in the search box, you want to type in store, so S T O R E. Best match to go back on Microsoft Store. You want to go ahead and left click on that one time. And then select Advanced Options. Scroll down this page until you get to the point that says Reset. If the app isn't working, reset it. The app will be reinstalled and revert to its default settings. Your documents will not be affected. Go ahead and left click on the Reset button and then select Reset. This will permanently delete the app's data on the device, including your preferences and sign in details. Go ahead and select Reset. So once you have the check mark next to it, close out of here. Hopefully that has been able to resolve your problem. If not, we're going to go ahead on to the next method here, and that would be to open up the start menu. So just go ahead and left click on the start button again one time. Type in regedit, so R-E-G-E-D-I-T, no spaces at all. Best match, should go back or registry editor. You want to go ahead and right click on that, and then select to run as administrator when prompted and then select Run as Administrator from the drop-down menu that appears. If you receive a user account control window, select Yes. Now before you do anything in the registry, I would highly suggest you create a backup of it. In order to do that, it's quite simple. All you have to do is just go ahead and left click on the file tab up in the top left, so left click on it one time, and then select Export. Make sure export range is selected to all, and as for file name, usually the date in which you're making the backup is what I would recommend. And then save it to a convenient location on your computer or external media source. And once you're done with that, go ahead and click on save. And if you ever need to import it back in, just do file import, and there you go, just to navigate over to the file location. So very simple how to do that. Once you've made your backup, we're ready to begin, and we're going to start by double-clicking on the HK Classes root folder. So either double-click on that or left click on the little arrow next to it to expand the drop-down selection. And once you've done that, now you want to go ahead and look for something that says .exe or .exe more appropriately. So we shouldn't have to scroll too far down here. See something that says .exe. On the right side, there should be something that says default. We want to go ahead and double click on that. You want to make sure it appears exactly as it does on my screen here. So it says exe file. So we're going to spell it out here. It's going to be exefile, -E, no spaces at all in this value data field. So if it does not say this, you want to type it in exactly as it appears. And then go ahead and left click on OK. Next thing you want to do is navigate over to the exe file. So there's no dot in front of it, so you're going to have to scroll down a little bit here. But it shouldn't be too far, but you can use this little scroll bar as well. Should be a lowercase e. So you're going to have to kind of go pretty far down here. Not too far. Uh, let's see how quickly we can find it. Remember, it's not a race. So you could also search for it too, up in the file tab, but we're going to just make it as simple as possible here. So you want to do view, you want to do edit, find, type in exe file, so exe file. If so it says look at, you want to set it just to keys, so uncheck the value in the data folder, and then select find next. So there you go, you can see we have the exe file folder over here on the left side here. 
So now that you've done that, there should be something on the right side here again that says default. You want to go ahead and double click on that. You want to make sure this says application exactly as it appears on my screen. So again, A-P-P-L-I-C-A-T-I-O-N. Exactly as it appears on my screen. Should be pretty straightforward here, guys. So hopefully that was not too complicated to do that part. And you want to do one more thing so you can close out of here. Expand the exe file folder so you double click or left click or arrow next to it. Should be a shell folder. Double click or left click or arrow again to expand that one as well. Expand the open folder. And now there should be a folder in here that says command. So go ahead and left click on that one time. On the right side, the default value, hopefully there's going to be something in here. If not, where it says default, you want to go double click on that. Value data, you want it exactly as it appears on my screen. I will have this pasted in the description of the video as well, so I just actually pasted it right over the previous value data, and it is the same. So I'm not even going to try and spell this out. You know, I don't want anybody getting confused about it, so just copy it from my description of my video. I'll probably put it up on the screen also at this point in the video as well, so if you want to try and type it out. But I'd personally suggest going through the description because I believe there is a space in here in between one of the quotation signs and the percent so probably be better safe than sorry just copy it out of my description but if you want to just see it up on the screen you know at least you can go back to what it was beforehand so pretty straightforward once you're done with that go ahead and left click on OK and hopefully this point should be done so just close out of here restart your computer hopefully once you've restarted any changes will have been made permanent hopefully that should have been able to resolve the problem and as always thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial and i do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial goodbye